Copy. Did, did, did the coaches challenge you after the North Carolina game, especially about the rebounding? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, that's what we got to do. We just got to rebound. We got to play hard. We got to box out and make sure they don't get it. Um, so, yeah, they definitely did. Armand, I know that the threes haven't been where you want them to be, but you found so many other ways to, to score, and, and Coach Young was in here praising your defense. Um, what have you done to kind of find other ways to, to be a factor right now? Uh, you know, I try to not to be just like a one-dimensional type of player, um, do you know different things on the court. If your shot's not falling, that's getting playing defense, getting to your mid-range, getting to the rim, and things like that. So just not being able to, for a key to key in on one thing about you is, is good. Yep. Yeah, Francisco, you checked in pretty early tonight at the 17-minute the mark after after Caden picked up two early fouls. Uh, what's your mindset when you go in that that early off the bench, and uh, do you feel like getting in early helped you throughout tonight? Uh, the mindset is always the same. You know, going in, you got to play hard. You got to do your job. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. You know you know how coach is when, when somebody gets two early fouls, um, usually don't you don't play as much in, in the first half. So... I was obviously ready. I was, I'm ready. Uh, but yeah, today was more minutes, and I took advantage of it. Poppy, how did you go about defending Luma? What had you watched on, on tape? And it, it seemed you were really physical with him, and it bothered a lot of his shots. Uh, he's a crafty player. He's talented, you know. Usually his footwork pretty well. Um, and he's fake, so just stay down. I try to slide with him every time I could and just don't get lifted. You know, he's a little shorter, um, so I, I, I knew I could bother him just staying down and putting my, ha my hands up, so that was it. Armand, over here, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think is working better on the offense right now? Also, the combination of you, Kihei, Reese, I think it was eight or nine assists, one turnover. Just how is the offense fitting together better now? Uh, <clears throat> I think the more we play together, the more, you know, we get – you know, chemistry with each other. Um, obviously, me joining them, uh, I, they brought me in. So uh, I think, you know, we all can, you know, do different things um, on the offensive end, uh, shoot, pass. But we're all, I think we're all unselfish players. So I think we just look for each other and look for our bigs as well. Armand, you're a veteran of the Indiana Purdue rivalry. What, what were your thoughts on, you know, your first experience in this, this series? I know there are many, so many. Usually when we play Indiana Purdue, there's not many as Purdue fans in there. So I, when they were out there yelling, I was like, oh, OK. It's a lot of Hokies fans in here tonight. But uh, you know, being a part of any rivalry is fun, uh, just no matter if it's your first year or your third year in it. Uh, but I just enjoyed being able to compete with them and you knowing the rivalry. Armand, Poppy's kind of got the reputation as a bruiser. He showed some, some skill and some touch tonight. What are your kind of impressions of him and, and how he's come along this season as a teammate? Uh, Pop's very physical, uh, you know, me and him go at it a lot sometimes, or we used to, because he was, he was very physical, I didn't like it, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I like the way he's played over the past, you know, throughout the season, he's getting a lot better, getting a lot of more touches, getting a lot more minutes, actually, um, and he's worked on his finishing a lot, he works on it every day, so he's just keep continuing to work hard, I'm proud of him. Yeah, Poppy, just you talk about going in earlier today, but you also played a lot more minutes. How do you kind of sustain that energy that you kind of bring to the game over that longer period? Uh, obviously, like, you know, having a good game helps, but like like we mentioned earlier, it's just, you know, Aluma is a high-volume shooter. He still had 22, but there was some, some moments that uh, got some big big stops on him, and, you know, just like, like we said, playing physical and stuff, that kind of like riles me up a little bit and gets me going, so... Yeah. Armand, were you maybe focusing more on mid-range shots today just to try to get some rhythm going? Because you seem to be doing more of that. Um, <clears throat> I think that's a part of my game that I, I really enjoy. Um, just not always relying on the three-point shot like I did early in the season, finding different ways to score. That's either getting to the mid-range or getting to the basket. But I think my mid-range shot is you know pretty solid. And being able to get to that can you know get my confidence going for some threes. Line to line. Poppy, you, you've been here a long time. I mean, it, it might not feel like that, but you've been here for a long time. And you obviously learned that that's what it's supposed to look like. And it seemed like the more gritty it got, the happier you were out on the floor. Did that feel like old school UVA basketball to you, the, the kind of basketball that you learned when you first got here? Kind of like, you know, 
Uh, I, don't, I mean, it's just kind of like, you know, how I always play, and it's just, it's just felt, felt normal to me, felt, felt good. Uh, it's just what I'm used to, so.